What's up guys? Today we're going to show you the ins and outs of catching some smallmouth bass. And you know what? We're going to have some surprise catches along the way with some brim and trout. We're just going to teach you exactly how to fish these nice creeks, show you some techniques so you can get hooked up on all kinds of fish, baby. Woohoo! So what we're using today, I'm using ultralight rod and reel and an eighth ounce jig head with about like a three inch trailer on it. I uh, used the curly tail, Thomas is using a little minnow imitation. What we're doing is we're working slack water off of small, small rapids and working behind rocks. If you see like a rock, the smallies like to hide in the rocks. They love the rocky bottoms because they can sit there and jump out and attack their prey. But you're just gonna cast into it, kinda give it a bop it up and reel it a little bit, bop it up and reel it a little bit. Here, I'll show you real quick. I know it's such the ground, I bop it up, reel, bop, reel, bop, reel. It's a nice one. It's a, it's a creek chub, I think. Or, no, it's a trout. It's a brook. Dang, hmm. I kind of want to eat him. Well, a nice little surprise catch. Well, he is somewhere. He's right there. What do you think? Beautiful. So we've got a lot of videos on how to catch trout. We catch them on fly lures with spinning reels, which is a lot of fun. We slay them. Um, marabou jigs and some inline spinners too. We've got all the links up there if you want to learn how to catch trout. But that's not today's video. Today we're catching smallmouth. And let's get back to it. Oh my gosh, look at it. He's got a gash on his side. And it wasn't me. Go Tommy, a nice little smallie. We're using ultralight rod and reels, so, you know, reeling them in is a lot of fun. Got one. There we go, what is it? Little brim, hey. Look at that. Another Roanoke bass. Nice and pretty. On this jig head. Giant fish, don't look though, don't look. So big. Nice little sunfish. There we go. So, we're targeting smallmouth today. We're gonna end up catching a whole bunch of different fish because, you know, when you're using these curly tails and smaller grubs, all kinds of fish really just gobble them up. So, these techniques can be used while catching smallmouth for small um, Roanoke bass, bram, and even trout sometimes, as you could see. They're piled up under this tree Trees are, provide good cover for the fish and food as well because bugs drop off of the trees so they like sitting there and then they get gobbled up, you know what I'm saying? So make a couple casts into those trees. There's deep pocket too, so we're gonna be on some good fish. Whoa, whoa! Ooh, monster Roanoke bass. So Thomas caught all the fish out of this hole at the tree. It's the truth. So we are moving on to newer, bigger, and better things. So you want to keep tension when you're reeling in these small fish because they can just drop that thing like that. Oh yeah. We're catching all kinds of fish. All kinds, millions of kinds. Every single kind in the world. You know, but we're really trying to catch smallies. So I'm going to change up to, you know, the best smallmouth bait around. It gets the trick done every single time. And it's super, super simple to use. The finesse worm. That's right. Finesse worm. That's the smaller of the trick worm. I love seedless watermelon and grape. There's only two colors you're gonna need. Or a two lot extra wide offset shank hook. Uh, go check in the description for all of our, the lures we're using today, so you can get caught up on some fish like we are. There you go, I got it Texas rigged. Now with these guys, it's super, super simple. I'm gonna show you how real quick. So with these uh, trick worms, or finesse worms, you're gonna toss up into the current and you're just gonna kinda let it go, go with the flow. And it'll slowly settle to the ground and just look oh so delicious, that line tight. Not tight, but like tension, so you can kinda feel it. No bites there, but uh, you know, you keep working it like that, it falls nice and slow and just tempts the small mouth. And they're gonna go right after it. With the finesse worm, I use a medium, medium action rod, or medium light. 
just because it makes it a lot easier to set the hook. This thing doesn't have a lot of backbone, so setting the hook can be difficult. But overall, the fight is more fun. Now we're fishing this rapid. As you can tell, the water's moving a lot quicker than we were usually fishing. So I'm gonna add on a little split shot, see if I can't get down to the bottom, just cause it looks that good. And I think there's fish in here. Nice Molly. Oh yeah. Woo! Oh yeah! That's what we came here for. The smallmouth, that's right. Beautiful, about time we got one. We caught a couple trout along the way. Thomas has been catching the snot out of sunfish, and she even caught a nice smallie. They're so pretty. Nice golden bass. Nice. Oh. Thomas with the chub. Rub it up, dub. Thanks for the chub. Oh. He's really awesome. <laughs> There's another one to the variety pack. Got one just like that. It's a small, well, let's see. I think he's the coolest fish of the day. Coolest mm -hmm. fish of the day award goes to this small like mouth. Print. You got a small mouth. With Thomas's setup using the grub, she's got to set that hook set as soon as she feels the bite. That's exactly what I have been doing. So she feels the nibble, 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 and then boom, quick little strike, and it's in its mouth. So this is where we've been having the most luck of the day. We've got a down tree, which is structure, and then we got a nice rapid coming in with slack water on either side. This is really good habitat for smallmouth and really any sort of predatory fish. Um, Thomas has been really getting them with the grub, casting it, letting it sink, and just kind of pulling it in nice and easy. As you can see, she's had a lot of luck on that. It catches a wide variety of stuff. Whereas with the finesse worm, I'm mostly getting smallmouth. Hooray! That's a real nice, pretty, pretty fish. The uh, minnow. Oh my goodness. Trout? Oh, trout. Go Thomas. Nice brookie, baby, brookie. <laughs> well, I gotta say, we're up to what? Roanoke bass, two brook trout, couple small mouth, bunch of brim, creek chub. Creek chub. Creek chub. Dum, dum, dum. It's on fire though. Use these tips and you'll have just as good as time as we do. That's what's getting it done. Trout magnet with a little white grub. An oopsy woopsy white grub. Like I said, all that tackle, check out the description so you can catch everything in the whole world. So, you know, I've been talking the talk about this spot. Now we're gonna give you an underwater view of what makes this spot so good. Hopefully we'll see some trout, some smallies, and some creek chokes. But yeah, great. This is, this is where you're gonna wanna cast. Is, is in areas like these. If you can find areas like these, that's where you're gonna wanna go. We're ready to rock and roll. You ready to go in? Code, code. There you have it. All the fish we caught, we saw the brook, I saw the brook trout, I saw the big smallmouth, and a couple of fall fish. 